Hello and welcome to microchip.com. Today we will go over the Google IoT Core authentication use case using the ATECC 608A. Let's start by looking at what is the main risk in IoT today with security. Accessing remotely to one IoT hardware causes damage in itself. But more importantly, being able to remotely access a multitude of IoT hardware is the real target of the black hat. It can result into distributed denial of service, ransomware, warm proliferation, and etc. The impact is on your brand, your company, your revenue, your IP, and your customers. Let's look a little more in details into the pillar of hardware authentication. The first concept is to isolate private keys from users. Humans are the most unpredictable security risk. The second concept is to isolate private keys from software. Once a patch is released, it reveals the software weakness to the attacker. It can take months to patch an IoT hardware, which gives enough time to the attacker to penetrate the system. The third concept is to isolate key manipulation from the manufacturing phase, not only from the supply chain equipment, but also from the operators in the supply chain. And the fourth concept is to isolate keys from microcontrollers. Please don't leave the private key in the clear of flash memory. We ought to talk about certificate authority concept. Leakage of any of the private keys involved in a certificate chain leads to the ability to spoof the identity of devices and to create an unlimited number of illegitimate devices. To build a chain of trust, we recommend at least three levels of certificates. The higher level of certificate is the Ecosystem Certificate Authority. It's typically stored and protected by Ecosystem Authority. The second level is the intermediate certificate. It's stored on a computer on the device manufacturing line. That's where possible security flow could occur. And finally, the lowest level certificate is the device level certificate, which is typically stored in the memory of the device. That's another possible place for security flow. Let's look now at the details of the Google IoT Core use case. The higher level certificates are issued by the customer at their site. The customers obtain a root certificate and create an OEM certificate. Then a secret exchange process is established between the customer and microchip to allow the generation of certificates on the customer's behalf. Microchip generate production signers and then device level certificates that are loaded into the ATECC 608A. The public key is then loaded into the device management of Google IoT Core. The private keys is generated inside the ATECC 608A inside our microchip secure factories and all the handling and manipulation of certificates happen within the same secure factories. Now we are switching to the marketplace environment once the finished product is deployed. The microcontroller generated JWT token, which stands for JSON Web Token. Part of the JWT token is hashed and presented to the secure element. The private key is then used to sign the hash token to create an ECDSA signature. The signature is then pushed back to the microcontrollers and the signature is appended to the JWT token. The private key is always into the ATECC 608A and never leaves the device. It is protected with anti tempering protections and side attack channel protections. To communicate between the microcontroller and the secure element, Microchip offers the Crypto Authlib library, which also helps to create the JWT. The signed JWT token 
is then presented to the device management function of Google IT Core. And with the public key previously stored, Google IT Core is verifying the signed GWT token is genuine to authorize the rest of the communication. Now the full chain of trust is closed. The benefits, the JWT implementation offers a very light code that enables security for very small microcontrollers. The solution is completely agnostic of the TLS stack that offers design portability. And finally, the solution is completely agnostic of the microcontroller which offers design flexibility. To know more about the ATECC608A, please visit us at www.microchip.com slash ATECC608A. Thank you very much.